And Angelina is um, a, a longtime follower of the practice space, but fairly new to um, the private lessons that we offer. And so I'm gonna just introduce you here. Hi, Angelina. You can, uh, I, yeah, there we go. Can you hear me now? We can, yes. <laughs> I left the button there. <laughs> okay, I left it up there and I realized, oh wait, I'm supposed to be wearing this. So. <laughs> So Angelina um, has started doing private lessons because of uh, her just incredible poetry. And she started taking private lessons so that she could um, get better at, at performing them and get the courage to perform them in open mics. And uh, she's been doing poetry for a long time, but I'm curious, um, Angelina, why you started taking private lessons. And then we're gonna hear two poems um, from Angelina that she'll share with us today. Sure. Um, I chose private sessions initially to work on building my skill and confidence in performing my poetry, as Anne-Marie mentioned. Um, however, the consistency of doing this every month since April kind of had a like a good side effect. And I realized I was simultaneously building skill in self-advocacy. And it's really essential because there's no better advocate for you than you, of course. <laughs> And it's just, it's often that people who have a hard time advocating for themselves in life are drawn to creative mediums like poetry or writing or performance art. And it really just takes practice to build confidence. <laughs> and we forget that self-expression and self-advocacy require practice too. So the practice space provides people like me that, that safe place to practice those skills. And it's why I'm participating in the event today. Yay, thank you, Angelina. Um, I'm really excited to hear your poetry and just um, be able to share in your creative gift. So um, she's gonna read two poems. And then um, for later on, I, so after Angelina, we're going to go into another uh, scavenger hunt and also hearing more music from James. And then we're going to hear two high school speeches, um, fairly short ones. And then we will end with our young speakers debate and a little interview with me. So uh, if you're a young speaker who is used to, who's um, getting ready to debate, this is the time you can log on to the speaker view. So we're going to go over to Angelina Breen and her poetry. So just going to find you here. Okay. All right, go ahead. You can hear me still? Yeah. Yes, we can. <laughs> okay, the first piece is a poem called The Porch Swing. For when I was young, I dreamed that one day it could be that I'd have a house where a porch swing would swing. That I would delight in the sway of the day in sweet, simple gratitude of long hours of solitude. To swing to my heart's content while learning I would cement with passing time as seasons come and go, go gently they do as this porch swing does sway away into another time into another day. I would read and write and just sit in delight from sunrise to the end of daylight. This would be such a wonderful thing. Oh, if only I could have my porch swing. And life it does go, but not always to your flow. And dreams made young sometimes come undone. And when you never had a house of your own, nor a porch to claim for a swing to attain, why sadness may fall with a sigh and a moan. As you face a reality that you could not sustain, such a dream of a house with a porch for a swing, and yet it was only you who made up such a thing. And then one day when you were out and about, you stumbled upon a place of grace, one of both nectar and herb, a garden of both beauty and scent an ample shade and equally sun drenched. How was it that you never had seen such a street with such as this for a scene, a garden for all to share and enjoy? How lovely and weird, I never saw it before. And as lovely as a daydream can be, there it was all for me, a porch swing, freestanding. <sighs> How it changed my understanding. Then as if it was simply meant for me to conclude in this moment spent that it doesn't always require getting to get, but sometimes it's seeing what you got. For I freely sway in this swing that's not mine to claim, nor have I attained, yet welcome 
for me to enjoy. And all I changed was to view it in a new way and finally get my porch swing sleigh. Thank you. Uh, the second piece is a short story and it's called The Library. There's nothing quite like stepping into a magnificent old library. I can't help but dream up a giddy fantasy of sneaking in on a stormy night with only a lantern and my imagination to explore its hidden gems. All the worlds contained in these rectangle shaped objects lined up on shelves from floor to ceiling, each just waiting to be discovered. I imagine walking through the rows, the light from my lantern flickers and spooky sounds jolt me in the right direction. I land upon that one special book that calls to me as if it made a sound only I could hear. And then just up and beyond that spiral staircase is a perfect nook to begin my reading. A bolt of lightning and a crash of thunder get me firmly planted in the corner spot. I wrap my jacket up over my head as if to cloak me from the outside world. I nestle in and now the adventure awaits. Library opens at dawn and I have six hours to complete the journey. Time to begin. Thank you.